this is Angelica Bloomfield here at MCR Mustang Rescue and today we're going to talk about getting first touches on a wild Mustang. So the approach that I usually take is retreating. So I will use the horse's natural curiosity and I will just walk away from them and when he approaches I'll go ahead and give him a treat and so that way I become rewarding and he's not feeling any intentions of me approaching him. I don't want to put that pressure on him. I'm going to leave the ball completely in his court to come up to me. And once he's comfortable following, I start adding a touch cue. Touch. And when he touches my hand, I will click and reward. And from there, I'll start asking for a little bit more. So I'll start holding my hand out. And from here, I'm just going to wait for him to come to me. So I'm turning this into a cue. Instead of just touching my hand, I want him to bring his head closer and let me pet the side of his face. So that's what we're going for here. Essentially, what we have done here is made my hand a target for him. And I'm asking him to touch the target with different parts of his body. So I'm targeting his face right now and he understands that when he brings his head in and lets me pet him, that he gets a treat and that the scratches feel pretty good. So between touches, I like to fall back on that retreat method. And as he gets more comfortable and confident and is enjoying himself here, I'm gonna start upping the energy a bit. And I'm gonna ask him to trot after me. Getting the horse moving and that blood flowing releases adrenaline. So between doing this retreat approach and giving him food rewards and building that excitement to come towards me, I'm making this a really positive experience for him. And he's making all of these choices all on his own. I'm not putting any pressure on him to do anything. And just look at the response that we are getting from this horse. He is a very lovely horse and he's gonna be a really fun one to bring along. So here he's playing with my hand and he's letting me touch him. Such a good boy. There, and I can rub my hand all the way down his neck and to his shoulder and he's pretty comfortable with it. All right, so that's how we work on getting our first touches. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more progress on Cassin.